So HubSpot's a company whose mission is to help other companies grow their businesses. And basically what we try to do is help uh, companies attract leads through inbound marketing. Prior to going to Snowflake, the problems that we had were that the bringing in of the data was being done on the same set of computers, the same resources as the people who are actually querying the data. And so you end up having multiple sets of, of people trying to access the same data through um, a, a single source, and so you get resource contention. We did a POC among a bunch of vendors. We had decided that we wanted a columnar database solution for sure. The reason that we ended up going with Snowflake is with the ability to have warehouses, which are the computing resources in Snowflake, that are allocated and sized properly for the, um, the task at hand, allowed you to not basically uh, uh, size up your infrastructure for the worst possible thing. Downsizing uh, the infrastructure in the previous uh, solution wasn't possible uh, without a lot of ho hoops being run through. Whereas with Snowflake, you can just take a warehouse and upsize it at a whim, it just requires turning a, a knob. And in fact, in, in, uh, if you set the warehouse up in a multi-cluster mode, uh, snow, the Snowflake will actually automatically upsize it and downsize it for you as it sees more traffic. The storage is so cheap that it's the same as storing it in S3, so you don't have to think about the finances of how long to keep data around. If you organize the data properly, you can have all of the data stored, and it, as long as you query it with the right predicate, with the right where clause, and you're clustered by, by that, then Snowflake ignores all the other data that you haven't asked for. So if I ask for January's data, it doesn't have to look at you know, data from years past as well. It just goes and gets just January's data. And so those two things make life a lot easier uh, with, with Snowflake. Snowflake really natively and easily handles very, very large data sets. At a prior company that I worked at, we had some tables, individual tables that were more than 100 terabytes in size. And those tables would have been completely a non-starter. In the case of dealing with billions and trillions of, of rows of data, uh, Snowflake uh, outperforms the other comparable columnar databases. Because of a feature that Snowflake has that I don't think any other database vendor has, they offer data sharing. And so the way that we used to get our data from Amplitude is that we would write scripts that would go and extract data from some endpoint that they gave us and put it onto S3, where now because Amplitude also happens to be a Snowflake customer, because of data sharing, they just expose our data to us and we just query it directly from Snowflake. We don't have to do a separate ETL process to bring it in because it's just already there for us. Our business operates significantly better since we've adopted Snowflake because we don't ever have a situation where something doesn't run because there isn't a resource available, because you're able to segregate the resources. ETL runs on its own warehouses that aren't used by the people who are querying the data, so there's never a problem there. 